So, apparently my phone is having problems. This is my fourth attempt at this series of little videos. I'm gonna cut it. So this is probably gonna have three or four different segments of five to seven minutes each. I was probably at one uh, segment of 25 minutes, but again, my phone is for whatever reason acting, uh, I'm not gonna use the word uh, gay, but it's acting gay, no offense to the LGBT community. I'm just saying it uh, to be funny right now. Again, the phone is acting quirky, corny, stupid, bogus, so, there you go a few other words it wasn't specifically targeted at anybody anyway professor pig 18 18 13 this specific section is uh i believe i made it that's 13 tall cool that right there corrugated cardboard let me turn off the lights It's only held in place with a pin right now because I'm not, there you go. Those were the Christmas lights I, in one of my last videos, if you haven't seen it, go to all my prop videos and it will explain how those Christmas lights came about. I got them at Dollar Tree. So, again, uh, this is supposed to be the base of a three story structure. I started off with the two-story structure that's gonna go on top of it, which is already underway. And while I'm looking at it, I decided, you know what? A store would look really, really awesome at the bottom. And uh, I have a name for the store picked out already. I'm not gonna say it right now, but it's a, it's a close friend's name. God bless her. Uh, she's no longer with us. A uh, very awesome woman, very beautiful woman. You know, personally and, and, and physically, she was, she was a beautiful, beautiful person. And uh, she's no longer with us, so I decided to, with the permission of her family, uh, her daughters, to give my storefront the name. So if you happen to like this particular diorama, unfortunately it is not for sale. If I decide to get rid of it, it will be to the family of the namesake when you see further videos of the work in progress then you will see once it's done the namesake and everything else the reason i decided to go with the corrugated different colors it gives it a little bit more urban flavor i'm speaking fast because i want a lot of uh, information i'm keeping an eye on the time again i'm trying to keep this short the floor is uh three eighths no not three eighths uh one eighth to uh three sixteenths inch 316 inch thick Luan. It's a uh, plywood. It's uh, you can call it cabinet grade plywood, but I'm just using it for the base. Doesn't matter. Uh, that's one inch uh, foam board from Home Depot. The names that are being mentioned are not in any way associated by and or with me. Are not sponsoring me. I'm not getting anything either monetarily or any other. Uh, fashion from these uh, entities I'm just saying it because that's where I get the stuff that right there is a uh, crown molding I just ripped the bottom part off it has a little like a curvature curvature part so I just ripped that off put it to the side I'm gonna use it for something else uh, that window right there that professor pig is behind i have professor pig there because he looks like a butcher so why not put him there right now it reminds me of if you're from spanish harlem or that neighborhood or the bronx or anywhere uh and you're particularly old school casablanca on 110th street between park and uh lexington closer to the train tunnel the meat market that's over there classic it reminds me of it but uh yeah uh did i turn it around yes i did no i did not we're gonna spin this around real fast you're gonna see the entire structure is going to be usable front back side and side there we go cool so i'm gonna let this run down a little bit this is dio star creations if you follow me from last year thank you for coming back if you were recommended and you said, let me just look at this crazy bastard's videos, thank you for the watch. If you don't 
consider this something you want to um, continue watching. Thank you for this uh, specific view either way. God bless. Hope to catch you on the next one. Part two, soon to come. Peace.